Hi, and welcome back to Musician's Edition Flute Practice with me. I'm your teacher, Risa, and today we're working in the Rubank Intermediate Method for Flute. And we're on page 22 today, looking at major and minor keys in thirds. So these exercises are extremely important, so make sure you come back to these ones often. They're really going to help with certain patterns and obviously in certain keys. Okay, so we're first looking at the D major in thirds. In my opinion, D major is not overly difficult. It's only two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, not so bad. And the register doesn't get overly disgusting either. We, you know, are kind of low. We ease kind of high, but not enough to make you want to, you know, cringe or, oh my God. Okay, now in my opinion for this thirds one, just looking ahead, it's going to be that last measure going from C sharp to D, that low. That's probably going to be your hardest spot and then maybe hitting speed. But let's just go for it. We're going to start off nice and slow and then we'll speed it up. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. So you can see why that low C sharp and then going to that low D is probably the hardest. You just got to slide and remember we're hitting, you know, this key here, not over here, here. Okay. So that's going to be the challenging part. All right. Let's go ahead and speed it up. It gets a little easier for breathing when you go faster too. All right. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. So even from there, you're going to want to speed this up and speed it up even more. And remember, even if any of that was too difficult, remember, you can just slow it down, take it note by note. Okay. And another thing that I've recently learned has helped some people too, is by changing up the rhythm from what it's written. So even though it's just written as simple eighth notes, you know, you can do even changing that may help because it gives you a little bit of time to like hit certain ones but then they're going to be fast in the next ones okay and then even do them opposite okay that may help too either way i still recommend that and make sure you're tonguing for all of these that's the way it's marked all right, I think that's enough to get you started though and to continue practicing that. All right, so now let's move on to B minor melodic. Now, this one's gonna start off challenging. It's still challenging to me even because of those high registers. I don't care for those registers. Other flutists, you might like it. I, I like low notes. 
That's why I pay. I that's why I play bass flute when we do flute choir stuff. I like playing low. All right, and then it also is a little more challenging with those sharps, as you can see ahead. Okay, and this is also supposed to be pretty fast, all eighth notes. But before we dive right into it, let's go over our high notes again. I'm going to put my earplugs in because I am in a very small room and um, my hearing is important to me. All right, so we know E, we know F, we know G sharp. Okay, but now looking at A sharp, remember it's thumb index, and then we're gonna hit that first trill and pinky. Okay, then we have a regular B, thumb remains on, we have index, and then still pinky, and now we're shifting to the other trill, index comes off, and nice fast air. It's a little hard coming right into it. And C, I don't think we've gone over high C. We're gonna take the thumb off, and now we're going to put all four fingers down on our right hand, okay? And then it is our index. It's pretty hard to get right off the bat. And for some of you who have the B foot, there's also an alternative fingering, it's just like that. But you can also hit this key here, it's our low B roller. It can help stabilize it. Okay, but for this exercise, it's gonna be kind of hard to hit that. So I'd probably just leave it pinky off. All right, so let's do this. You know what, let's actually just work on those few measures that have the high notes. So let's start. Top line, second to last measure. I guess it's measure three. Okay, we're gonna go note by note. So C sharp, E natural, D, F sharp, E, G sharp, back to F sharp. Now that A sharp, back to G sharp, B, Back to A sharp, C, B. Okay, that's going to be our big challenges there, okay? Coming down, if you look coming up next, <laughs> our sharps now become naturals now. So let's just do those coming down note by note too. Back to B, G. All right, and then so the fingering for A, in case we forget, is still thumb. We're gonna have middle finger, index, and pinky. All right, so let's start back at that B. We have B, G, A, F, G, E natural, F sharp still, D, E, C sharp, D. All right, and we'll just cut that right there. <laughs> All right, so, so again, you're gonna see where that's the challenging, especially that you're gonna see that's what is the challenge here, especially with the speeds, the high notes, fast air, it's a lot. So just because of how challenging this is, we are going to break it in halves. I think that's what's gonna really help. So let's do measure one and two, okay? Ready? One, two, Three, four. Okay, we'll stop there. Okay, don't forget your sharps. So we had G sharp, the A sharps, G sharp. Don't forget to have that other A as sharp. Okay, let's do just those two measures again. Ready? One, two, three. Perfect, let's do it one more time. Ready? One, two, three.
Perfect. All right. Now let's do the second half of that, okay? We're going to do these ones just as quarter notes, okay? Because this is a really difficult. I want us to take it that slow. One, two, three, four. So you can see even just as the quarter notes how difficult it is, right? Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. There we go. So it really is, the more you do it, you'll get used to it. Kind of as if we were first learning lots of air control. We're not as familiar with these fingerings as we are everything else, because this is still kind of new. Bunch of challenges. Let's do it one more time. Let's speed it up a little bit more. I'm not gonna kill ourselves over it because you'll know what to do. You're gonna speed it up until you can catch up to the measure one and then you're gonna put it together. All right, but right now, Let's just speed up just that second half, okay? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. I know that's not very smooth for me either. I'm very well aware. Like I said, I don't play high a whole lot, so... I definitely need to practice that as well. All right, let's take a look at going down um, that same measure, not the same measure, line two, measure one. We're gonna take that nice and slow too for being so high and switching gears to the natural instead of the sharp. All right, so once again, let's just play this one measure as quarter notes. Ready? One, two, three. Perfect. Don't be too hard on yourself here, okay? This is challenging. Let's go ahead and do that again. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job, let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four. Excellent job. So since we've been kind of warming up now, hopefully your tone is getting a little bit better. Uh, mine is still tough though. All right, for the rest of this, let's play it back to eighth notes, okay? And at a little bit faster tempo because I know we can get the descending part a little easier. All right, ready? Back to eighth notes. One, two, three. repeat because we're breaking this up differently. All right, so that one shouldn't have been too challenging. Don't forget those Fs are sharp. All right, let's go ahead and do it again. We'll speed it up a little bit. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job, one more time, ready? One, two, three, four. All right, 
right, excellent job. So I know we didn't do this one as a full thing, but I just feel like we should really focus on the first part, the middle part with those really high notes because that's so different and so much more challenging. I don't want to overwhelm us. Okay, so practice that. Practice it nice and slow. Get it solid. Once you have it solid, then speed it up, then turn it back into its eighth notes, and then combine it together as a whole. All right, just make sure you take your time. Don't beat yourself up over it. You know, relax, master it, you know. All right, moving on to B minor harmonic. This is gonna be the same kind of rules, okay? Because it's still up in the stratosphere, how high it is, okay? We're just shifting some things from sharp to natural. It's just really our G. G is going to be natural now. All right, so with this one, I guess let's, let's attempt this one as a whole, okay? And we'll keep it eighth notes. We'll go real slow though. All right, ready? One, two, three. repeat. All right, so you can see it's still very challenging in that higher hemisphere. Uh, to me, it's a little easier to go down, but I would recommend if there's any spots, even transitions you're struggling with. So like if you were struggling from high B to G, you know, just work on that transition there. And then start adding in. Okay, and then just keep adding more and more and more. And then you'll start really getting it down solid. But this one's just gonna take a good hunk of time, let's be honest. But it is important to practice these ones. The arpeggios and the thirds, they're gonna come very handy throughout because there's so many things that use these patterns. All right, let's go ahead and move on to F major. Okay, you, you know what to do and how to practice that. All right, F major and thirds. So now we're switching keys entirely all right, so now we got to start thinking B flat. B flat, everything else is natural. All right, so let's go ahead and give F major in thirds a try. This one shouldn't be too demanding, especially after all that. <laughs> all right, ready? One, two, three. didn't have a repeat written in it. <laughs> they must have felt like we were doing pretty good there. And well, from the way I felt, I felt pretty good about that take. I feel even better when I take the, the headphones out. Important for the higher registers, but when I keep them in, I have a hard time hearing my tone where it's at, where I should be. You know, I, it's also important to hear. All right, let's go ahead and speed this up. Ready? One, two, three.
Excellent job. Let's speed it up one more time. Ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. So you can practice that one. No, I recommend it even more and speeding it up even more. All right, but for time's sake, let's go ahead and move on to the D minor melodic in thirds. Once again, this is where we have some sharps and naturals written in, okay? So just take a moment to look. All right, I think we're good to go here. We'll start this one slower and then speed it up. Ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. Once again, that C sharp to D might be a challenge, but just practice it. You'll get it. All right, let's go ahead and do it again. We'll speed it up a little bit more. Ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. Let's do it one last time, a little bit faster even. Ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the last one, D minor harmonic, okay? Once again, it, it's close to that last one, just has a little bit different variety here. It looks like our Bs are going to remain flat, okay? Going up is the same as going down. Unlike the other one, our B naturals became B flats. All right, anywho, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Excellent job. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit more. Ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. Let's go ahead and speed it one more time. Make sure on second measure you're playing that second C is also a sharp. Okay. 
All right, ready? One, two, three. All right, excellent job. So make sure you're practicing this a lot. Make sure you really slow it down on those areas you're struggling. Make sure you wear ear protection for those high notes. All right, I know they're a pain in the butt. They're gonna take some time. You'll get it though. Work at it, you'll get it. All right, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know down in the comments. While you're down there, don't forget to hit like, notify, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our practices. Thanks for joining. And until next time.